Hey everybody! Thanks for coming back to my channel. Um, today I have a what we read video. Um, we haven't been very good about going to the library lately and getting new books. We're still going, um, but I, I'm usually forgetting the books that we have and the CDs that we have. Um, but um, I have some new ones that we've really been liking, um, so I thought I'd share them with you. Um, the first one, actually the first two that I'm going to share are more of the, um, they're like literature for kids. I think before we, I shared about the Pride and Prejudice, um, the Sons and Sensibility, Wuthering Heights. Um, this time we have, and these are all by Jennifer Adams, um, this time we got Dracula, and we got The Jungle Book! which is one of my favorites growing up. Um, I loved when the live action movie of this came out. I thought it was so great. Um, this one, um, the Jungle Book one is an animal primer. And it's been so fun to listen to Monkey make some of the noises. Um, up until like a couple days ago, he refused to um, do like woof, like We'd ask him what sound a dog would make, and he would do the sign for dog, which is patting your leg. But he wouldn't make the sound. Um, and then one day we just asked him, and he was woof. And it was ah, so exciting. So when we read this, and he does the animal sounds. It's just so great. And then the Dracula one is a counting one. <laughs> and every time I read it, I want to add ah, 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 ah to the end. Um, like Sesame Street, because the count was my favorite. Um, he is my favorite Sesame Street character. Um, and it's, you know, it's Dracula. I didn't, I don't know, I don't, I consider Dracula literature, it's not like horror or anything, so if you do, sorry, but I'm exposing my kid to it young. He's probably gonna have to read it in high school anyway, or I hope so. Um, probably be on the banned book list. Anyway, the next one um, is a Sandra Boynton book, um, and it's Night Night Little Pookie. One of my amazing November um, 2013 mommies sent um, Monkey um, Happy Birthday Little Pookie for his birthday. Um, and it's really, really cute. And then we found Night Night Little Pookie. Um, and at some height, we'll probably own it. Um, Monkey's newest trick is when we count to three and we're doing one, two, three. He starts holding up his fingers and I'm like, ah! All you moms out there know how exciting it is. <laughs> the little things. Um, the next one is our Spanish book, and it's as big as my face. Really? It's as big as my face. And my son, this was the first book he latched onto. Um, and as always, I'm going to give you the title in English. It's called I Went Walking by Sue Williams, um, and illustrated by uh, Julie Vivas. Um, and it's, you know, it's fun. Um, it's very formal Spanish. Um, so I, I, I kind of struggled with this book. But it's fun. Um, this one, a Monkey's really not interested in the story in English or Spanish. He wants to go through the pictures and point at all the animals and do sounds. And um, so we've kind of make, we've been kind of making up our own story. Because like I said, the Spanish is pretty formal. And I um, already struggle with my Spanish skills. Um, and I read better than I speak, um, so formal, I'm like, dang it. <laughs> I didn't even learn that, like, in school, we learned what the, uh, what is it, vosotros form is, but we didn't, and this is in college, and we didn't even, we don't, we didn't even focus on it. She's just like, vosotros, moving on. <laughs> okay, class made me cry anyway. Um, this is another Carolyn Jane Church book, um, and she did the, um, The More We Get Together, and then the last one we did, the Rain Rain Go Away, which was really cute. This is called I Love You Through and Through. <laughs> it is adorable. This is another one, um, that we'll probably purchase, um, and it's really cute. It talks about the different, um, different things, um, that, you know, this mommy loves about their little one. Um, it's really cute. It's my favorite right now. I'm gonna add it to my Amazon list. Mm, and as usual, I've read nothing adult at all. Um, 
I actually am filming kind of late too because right now my newest obsession, uh, and feel free to judge, is uh, SimCity Build It. I have a town going on my iPhone and a town going on my iPad. <laughs> like I said, judge away. It's okay. I'm having a good time. I, you know, I'm waiting for my city to burn down um, because even when I played regular SimCity and turned like off the, all the destruction modes, my city still like imploded. Like there was no water, there was no power, I ran out of money. I'm, it just <clears throat> so I'm just waiting for like it to you know tell me that I'm a terrible mayor and get voted off the island. Anyway, <laughs> tell me what you've been reading, what your little one's favorite book is. Tell me what your favorite book is right now. I really do need to. Uh, jump back into reading real books. Um, I have a vacation in September, so I'm gonna, you know, load up my Kindle because uh, Monkey's gonna be spending time with his Grammy who he hasn't seen in a long time. And I fully anticipate that she's gonna let me read and take naps. So, tell me what you're reading so I can load up. Um, and yeah, oh, and if you're playing SimCity, you know, look me up. Uh, or not you know, up to you. Um, but Or tell me what other favorite app games you're playing right now that you're totally addicted to. Um, because, you know, I have so much free time to be addicted to app games. It's the society we live in. Um, and as always, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and uh, click subscribe if you would. I'd appreciate it. And we will see you next time. Thanks. Bye.